lovelies, everybody knows that summer lovin' happens so fast. They meet someone who is crazy for them and is as cute as can be. And I wanted to share with you all some of my summer book recommendations. And my first book recommendation is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. It's about this girl named Emily who is very shy. And she has a best friend named Salone who is the total opposite. She seems to easily make friends with anybody. And right before summer really begins, Salone just disappears. No text, no phone call, just an empty house. And a few weeks later, she receives a letter from Salone. And it's a to-do list. And it has stuff like go skinny dipping, kiss a stranger, steal something. Things that are very much out of Emily's comfort zone. But she feels like maybe she can get some sort of clues of where Salone is if maybe she does them. Along the way she gets help from unexpected people and things get a little bit more complicated when she starts having a crush on someone that she shouldn't be crushing on. And I totally related to the main character because I'm also very shy and just kind of trying to navigate through social interactions. It's pretty awkward. <laughs> but I thoroughly enjoyed it even though like just reading about her own awkward social interactions just made me have some secondhand awkwardness. But Again, it's a really good book. And my next recommendation is The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen, and it's about this girl named Macy who has her whole summer planned out. And it seems like it's gonna be a very boring summer. Her boyfriend's gonna be away at brain camp. She has a job at the library, and she's just gonna spend her whole time just studying for her SATs. And then there's also the fact that her family is kind of dealing with the loss of her father. But her summer definitely turns out way different than what she expected. She meets new people that she would have never encountered. And one of those new people is this very swoon-worthy guy named Wes. And she really starts to learn that stepping out of her shell isn't the worst thing to do. And that there's more to life than just playing it safe. And this is one of my favorite Sarah Dessen books. I remember when I first finished it, I went back and reread my favorite parts. So that's definitely a sign that you've really enjoyed the book. Then next we have How Zoe Made Her Dreams Mostly Come True by Sarah Stromayer. And Zoe and her best friend Jess landed this amazing summer internship at the Fairytale Kingdom theme park, which is sort of like Disneyland and it just sounds like it's going to be an amazing summer and whoever does the best job will win $25,000 scholarship which is pretty cool <laughs> but Zoe soon learns that working at the fairy tale kingdom isn't all rainbows and unicorns especially since she's assigned to kind of serve the queen who is the boss of the whole fairy tale kingdom and it's sort of devil wears prada -y. and she also learns that the competition is very cutthroat for that scholarship but making things a little bit better is one particular Prince Charming. And I, when I read this, I thought this book was really cute. And my last book recommendation is The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. And it's about this girl named Ronnie. And she and her younger brother get shipped off to North Carolina to be with their estranged father. And Ronnie has sort of been acting out, acting rebellious, like shoplifting, and her whole summer plan is just kind of to ignore her dad and hope that summer ends really quickly and she can just go back home. But as summer unfolds, she meets this really cute local guy and she actually starts to warm up to her father. And in the beginning of the book, you can definitely tell that she's kind of like on the edge of adulthood. And you definitely see her character development throughout the whole book. And like with most Nicholas Sparks books, there is some sadness, some tragedy in the book that just 
makes you feel really sad. <laughs> so those are all my summer book romance recommendations and hopefully the only thing that will leave you melting are the love interests in the books you read this summer and not the hot summer sun. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful summer. Bye!